Albert Einstein said, a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. When you become an entrepreneur, failure is something that you have to embrace and learn from. If you don't, oh my God, you are going to be miserable. Hey, we're not Mary Poppins here. We're not perfectly perfect in every way. As an entrepreneur, yes, you're going to fail. And the sooner you realize that, the better. You're going to do a lot of falling down, and you're just going to have to dust yourself off and face a new day. On today's show, we are talking about learning from your failures and facing your fears. Welcome to Get the Balance Right, a podcast for creative rebels, freaks, misfits, and geeks tired of working for the man. If you want to monetize your talents through media creation and production, then this podcast is for you. Whether you're just starting out, have a side hustle, or want to take your business to the next level, this podcast will help you profit from your superpowers. I'm your host, Heather Zeitzwolf, longtime vegan, Gen Xer, cat mom, drag queen enthusiast, and collector of weird dolls and lunchboxes. By using my professional background in business, marketing, design, and finance, I will help you move from passion to profit. If you're ready to crush your fears, take action, and do things scrappy, then together, let's get the balance right. Hello and welcome to Get the Balance Right Podcast. I am your host, Heather Zeitzwolf. Last week, I was planning on releasing five bonus episodes. And if you go back and look at last week, well, I released three. Well, I did try, but sometimes trying leads to failing. And I had all good intentions of putting out five episodes last week, but I think I was setting myself up for failure because I went out of town last week to FinCon. I was staying in Orlando and didn't even think about the fact that I may not have really good Wi-Fi to upload my episodes. Needless to say, my ambitious plan of releasing five episodes last week didn't happen. I do have two more that are part of those bonus segments. And you'll notice that I didn't release them this week. Why not? Well, part of it was failure again. I went back and I listened to what I had recorded for the episode four and episode five for that week. And I really didn't like them. I was like, you know, I'm out of town. I don't have the right microphone to be doing this. I had been also suffering from a sickness it wasn't COVID, according to my test. I may still have a little bit of sickness left in my voice, but if you go back and listen to last week's episodes, I definitely sound like I was on the ill side. I'm going to release them later on when I can redo them because I just thought they weren't good enough. And it's one thing to put something out that's not 100%. I understand that. I mean, we can't have perfection as an entrepreneur, but it's another thing to have some quality control and be like, you know what? It's okay. I'm going to release these later on when I have time to really work on them and make sure that they're really great for the audience. So today we're talking about failure because it's something that I think we all need to embrace. And also it's part of facing our fears. At FinCon, there were quite a few people that talked about TikTok. TikTok is something that I've been sort of interested in, have sort of dabbled a little bit in it, but dabbling is not what you need to do when you want to become a viral sensation on TikTok. This whole dabbling thing, if I really want to do TikTok, I'm going to have to step through my fear and just start doing this like every day. If you are a longtime listener, you may remember during season two that I did 45 days of Instagram live. So I went live for 45 days in a row to get over my fear of going live. I am declaring 51 days in a row, I'm going to record at least 51 videos on TikTok. I started this on Sunday. Today, I'm recording this on Monday. So, so far, I've put out two videos and I'm going to be doing this every single day and we're going to see what happens. My plan is to also go live on Instagram each week and talk about some of my success and failures of doing this TikTok adventure. 
And if you are someone who has been dabbling or very interested in TikTok, or you've been really doing well on TikTok, I would love to go live with you as well. We can talk about our failures and our successes. So what are you doing as an entrepreneur to allow yourself to fail and allow yourself to step through into your fears? Now, when you do step into your fears, you may miraculously do something incredible right off the bat, or you might end up doing things kind of sloppy, scrappy. In the beginning, we're not going to be good at things. Be supportive of yourself to be able to fail, dust yourself off, get back up there and try again. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Million Dollar Baby with Hilary Swank. Well, in that movie, it's a really good movie. I'm not really into boxing. I'm not into sports, but it's a really good movie. In the film, she wants to be a boxer and she's not very good. I mean, she's pretty good to begin with, but not that great. And she's got a terrible technique and all of that kind of stuff. But she persists and she keeps trying. And in the beginning, she fails quite a bit. But then she becomes like the world champion of girls boxing or something like that. Anyways, she proves that she can do it. And she started from not being that great in the beginning. It was just something that she really wanted to do. In the beginning, we're not going to be good at things. We just have to be able to tough it out and be like, okay, you know what? I know I'm going to suck at the beginning, but I got to just do this. I got to start. Everyone starts from somewhere. Last month, I started a beta membership program and I'm doing it scrappy. I'm doing it beta version. I'm having people give me feedback on what they want. I'm going to make tweaks to it. And so far, I think it's actually been going pretty well, but I'm sure that I'm failing in some areas. And as long as I get feedback from everyone, I can fix it when the real one rolls out, which I know that everyone is going to love. Please join. It's going to be great. We can all learn from each other as well. I'm not perfect. Mary Poppins may be perfect. She's the only one I know that's perfectly perfect. Even the people that you think that are perfect are not perfect. I can tell you that the people with the fancy cars and the fancy homes, they might be suffering with all kinds of debt. They might be on the verge of bankruptcy or on the verge of divorce or all these things. We have no idea what's going on in people's lives. So don't worry about being perfect. No one needs that. What we want is the real you and the real you will show up when you have the opportunity to fail and step into your fears. So there's lots and lots of quotes online around failure. Besides the one from Albert Einstein, which I'll repeat, is a person who never made a mistake, never tried anything new. So that's about stepping into your fears and being okay with failure. Here's some other quotes I got from online sources. So I can't for sure, say if these are actually accurate or not. I could be failing in my attempt to do this little bit of research. Here's one from Michael Jackson that I really liked. It's better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation. I love that because I'm all about being authentic. Don't be a copycat just because you think that that's going to be either a quicker way to success or a way to skirt the trial and error of doing something, be yourself and really embrace that. And here's one by Henry Ford. The only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. Ooh, yeah, we have to learn from our mistakes, right? So when we do fail, we should reflect on it, not be embarrassed by it, but reflect on what went wrong and how we can improve it. Failure is the fabric of being an entrepreneur. Because if we are breaking new ground or trying to do new things for our clients, we are going to fail because it's not always going to work out. We may put out a group program or we may put out a course or we may design a coaching program or we may design a piece of art or start a new business or whatever it is, but it may fail. We may find that nobody wants this thing, or maybe it doesn't really solve the problem right, or maybe this, maybe that, or maybe it's not all bad. Maybe it just needs a few tweaks and we just need to test it. So testing and tweaking and failing and trying again and testing and tweaking, and it's just this circle that goes around and around and we just have to embrace it. I hope that you will find me on TikTok. 
I'm at Zeitzwolf, which is my last name. You might also be able to find me if you look for Profit Protector. Also have a moniker on there of the vegan CPA, but I'm trying things out. I'm testing, I'm tweaking. So here's some other quotes around failure. Here's one from Zig Ziglar. It's not how far you fall, but how high you bounce that counts. Ooh, I like that one a lot. So that's about being resilient. I love that. Okay, here's one from Coco Chanel. Success is most often achieved by those who don't know that failure is inevitable. That's a really good one for entrepreneurs. Here's one from Thomas Edison. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Ooh, ouch. I mean, that could be even me when I'm doing TikTok, right? If I just keep at it for long enough, maybe I shouldn't give up at 51 days. Maybe it's that 52nd day that something will finally go viral. I won't know unless I try. Hmm. If you did listen to the three bonus episodes that I put out last week, the first one, I talked about going to FinCon and stepping into my authenticity and being this alter ego, the profit protector. I brought my costume with me and I declared, you can listen to it, go back and listen to it, that I was going to wear that costume. I did not know how I was going to be received. I've never been to FinCon before. I didn't know if people dressed in suits or if they were casual or if they had a sense of humor or what. I had no idea. But I really wanted to wear this costume of this alter ego, the profit protector. I mentioned it briefly to someone on the first day and they kind of looked at me funny like, you're going to wear a costume? It put that fear in me like, oh my God, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe everyone's just going to like think that I'm a nut job. But again, if they thought I was a nut job, they're not going to be in my same camp. The people that are going to vibe with me are going to think like, she wore a costume. That's pretty cool. So I'm in my hotel room putting on my costume. I made some changes to the costume. I didn't wear the original costume that I had worn in my house because, frankly, this time it wasn't just from the waist up that was going to be shown in a picture was going to be in my whole body. I tweaked my costume. I thought I looked pretty good. And there are pictures online of me at FinCon. At first, when I walked into the conference, people were looking at me really strangely. And I thought, oh my God, what am I doing? And I did feel a little weird. But then I ran into some people that I knew and they were like, oh my God, look at you. You're so funny. And I started to feel relieved. Like, okay, well, at least the people that know me think that it's pretty cool. Then I was like, I'm going to walk around. Well, I got a lot of strange looks. People were like, what the hell is this? But then there was the main shebang for the day where they have the keynote speakers and stuff. I sat in the front row, which I always do. Nerd. Nerd alert. The camera guy there walked up to me. This was before the whole thing was going to start. And I thought he was just going to ask me to like move out of the chair to like somewhere else. And he was like, hey, would you mind flying around the room and I'll follow you with the camera? I was like, okay. This giant hotel room with all these chairs, hundreds and hundreds of chairs. He has me run around all of them with my cape out and kind of acting like I'm flying and twisting and turning and all of this kind of stuff. I have no idea what they're going to do with that footage. But at one point, a a dog lunged at me and I'm I'm kind of freaked out. I I don't know. And then I'm starting to get out of breath. And then I kind of tripped over myself. And I don't know how much of this video they're going to use or if they're going to use it. But at least I was memorable. Besides the fact that I had blue hair, wearing that cape did make me stand out. And, you know, when you go to a conference, people can be pretty forgetful. You got to do something that's going to make you stand out from the pack. Wearing that cape, wearing my whole outfit as a profit protector. Some people may think I'm crazy. Other people, I think, got a kick out of it. And also, it made for a good time because I was able to take some pictures with people and meet other people. And it, But anyways, I stepped into my fears. It could have failed miserably, but I think it was okay. You can find video online, pictures, and I I ended up going up to my hotel room and like making some other videos on my own just because I was like, I might as well get as much traction from this thing as I possibly can because I don't know the next time I'm putting this costume on. When you feel fearful about trying something new, I want you to think about me at this conference putting on this costume, not knowing what the hell, how 
people were going to react to this thing. And I went down there to the conference room, which was a really long walk. So if I felt really embarrassed, it would have been like the whole like walk of shame going all the way back. I put it on. I got some weird looks, but I kept going. Whatever you do is not going to land for everybody. So just suck it up for that and know that it's not always going to work for everybody. But in the end, certain things that you try are going to work for the right audience. And if they don't quite work, you test it and tweak it and make it right. All right. Go out there. Be scrappy. Do your thing. Don't be afraid to take risks. That's what you have to do if you want to be an entrepreneur and give yourself the grace to fail and fail and fail and fail. But always learn from your failures. Dust yourself off and try again. Please find me on TikTok and I will follow you back and we can support each other on that app. Awesome. Awesome.